star comes the blackest hole Need so much to offer What did you offer your soul? I was there for you, baby When you needed my help Would you deny for others? Would you demand for Let's yourself? Let's go, internet question. Okay. <laughs> when airport will uh, race uh, again? <clears throat> I start to prepare him for uh, uh, Grand Prix duty. The elimination is uh, the end of uh, September in Mokonshi. And uh, I try to find one or two races before that. Uh, he trained uh, pretty tough now, so, but he's not ready, ready for racing. Uh, but it's coming. But w we have that as the first goal anyway. Question of Raymond. How you leave your transfer, Normandy Grosbois? Uh, well, uh, now it's okay uh, when we finally have moved everything. Uh, so it's okay. Now we are living in uh, Grosbois and uh, it, it's good. Frequence turf, the question of uh, frequence turf. What do you mean about, what do you feel about uh, the disqualification of Amec de Ripre in uh, Hugo Berg's memorial? Well, since I'm a Swede, I know the rules in Sweden. You cannot do anything and they disqualify you. But for me, I think it's very stupid, this. Uh, and it, it was very, very tough, the disqualification, yes. But as I say, I'm a Swede and I know the rules in Sweden and you cannot do nothing okay. there. Jeremy, ask uh, a news of, of uh, Belfigor, a top, uh, top price yearling. Unfortunately, when I had him in training, uh, he was not so bad, but uh, we operate one uh, hook for him, and after that he go to Pierre Levesque in training. So he has been in Pierre Levesque's training since January. So I don't know how it's uh, with him. Uh, JC, who talk about Mr. Urano, what, what do you feel, uh, what do you think about his discretion with the uh, press and public? Well, that's up to him, but uh, I know that uh, he wants to stay behind and not to be seen so much. I don't know why, but uh, it's like this. Malek, uh, who ask, who will be your uh, future driver and future jockey? My future driver, uh, I choose among the best uh, drivers at the moment, for, for the moment. Uh, like if uh, Eric Rafan is uh, free, I take him. If Nivald is free, I take him. So it depends. Same for jockeys? Uh, for the jockeys, uh, I have started to work uh, pretty much with uh, Mathieu Montier. And I think uh, he's one of the future Montier jockeys. Uh, Miguel, who asks you, what do you think about the performance of Up and Quick in Criterium des Cinq Ans? For me, it was uh, one of the most unbelievable competitions I see because uh, the time was uh, almost unbelievable. <laughs> but uh, okay, he win and he did it in a fantastic way. But I know also because I trained this horse before and I know it's a very, very good horse. So for me, it was not so much surprise, but the time was uh, fantastic. Uh, Guillaume, who asks you, why do you live of uh, Quick Star Stable? Don't you regret your choice? No, I don't regret it, uh, but uh, I get a better offer from Ecurie de Charme and uh, for the moment it seems to be better to move to Charme than stay in uh, Ecurie Quickstar. This is airport. Good horse. Here we have a really nice horse. She's going to race uh, Saturday in Vincennes. The name is uh, Blue Island and the driver is uh, uh, Dominique Locquenet. This one going to be very good for the winter, I think, uh, for the winter meeting in Vincennes. And we're also going to try uh, Monte for her. I think that's going to be her best. Uh, She's very nice, good horse. And uh, here we have an angry horse, ask for you. 
Yeah, but the top horse. <laughs> but the top horse. And uh, this one has been racing eight times with uh, six wins, one second and uh, one gallop. This is going to be also be very, very good for the winter meeting, I think. Do you know her limit? Not yet. We have not... Uh, she win, she win, she win. We have not seen the limit ne yet. Next race for her, it's going to be 3rd of October in Vincennes also. She don't want to come and say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have a pretty good horse. His name is Airport. Hmm. And uh, this one has been winning uh, 235,000 euro. He win uh, one group two in uh, Cannes, Monté with uh, Eric Raffin. And uh, he has been very good in the group races also. And uh, this one gonna be very good for the winter meeting. Do, do you think he could win one group one? I think so, yes, for sure. He, he progress? He progress and uh, he's getting better and better. And I think <coughs> next winter as a five-year-old, he's going to be the top. Because from the beginning, this horse couldn't trot. Uh, Atele for the Sulki had very much problem. Uh, passage problem and uh, <coughs> but now he's perfect even in the sulky and uh, in the monte and uh, you you talk about sulky he could uh, he could win a race at Le or uh, i think so yes yeah? okay now he has uh, very much money but uh, i i think he can uh, be there yes okay but the problem is now that uh, he don't have any races at the moment <coughs> for the Sulki, but uh, it's coming, it's coming. You have a good program for him this winter. Yeah, so we'll see, but this is a top horse. <coughs> this is a three-year-old uh, by Sam Bourbon. It's not the top one, but uh, it's going to be good uh, Provence, this one. It's not so bad. He has only been doing three races and uh, one thick second and one fourth place. But uh, not so bad. What is his name? His name is uh, Bombay Sun. You buy him or no? It's an uh, owner from uh, Austria. Okay. So it's good. Here we have uh, Americo Vespucci. He has uh, made around 40,000 euro. And uh, but he's a good for Provence, this one. Vincent too strong? I, th I, th I think so, yes. Uh, he don't like it when it goes up uh, because he has this uh, uh, this allure, uh, it, 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 yeah, it's, it's difficult for him to go up. He get tired very. So, but it's not so bad horse. I think he can win some races in Provence. What, what you will do with him this winter? You stop him, or you continue to? No, we continue to train like this. Uh, <coughs> see if we can find some race, uh, maybe south or uh, like this. And here we have, uh, he wants to speak, but he's, uh, he's, uh, his name is Plutonio. <coughs> he's good. He has win uh, around 200,000. <coughs> he's uh, Italian horse, Italian owner. And uh, he starts in the European races. He, he, has not, he, has, he has not win yet, but uh, he's second, third all the time, so he, he gets... He, he was unlucky sometimes, huh? 
The last uh, four races, I will say that he has been very, very unlucky. But uh, he's going to win some race uh, soon, because he's in very good uh, shape. And he's racing uh, 6th of September in uh, Vincennes. Not so bad horse. Etalon. <laughs> <laughs> this is a horse, uh, his name is Aginetti. He's racing uh, Sunday in Ecomoy. And I think he has a very good chance to win. I drive him myself, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> But it's, uh, it's not so bad horse, but he has also a little passage problem. We're going to try him Monte also. I think that can be good for this one. He needs to learn his work, actually? Yeah. Because when it goes too fast, fast, he don't really know where to put his leg. Uh, uh, so that's why I think it's better with uh, uh, Monte for him. But anyway, he's racing Sunday in Ecomoy, and uh, I think he has a good, uh, good chance to win. And finally, we have a two-year-old that is not qualified yet, uh, Orlando Vici. His name is uh, Camino de Loire. He don't work so fast yet, but uh, the head is very, very good. It's a little late horse, so we hope for him uh, for next year. Qualify this year, maybe one or two races, and uh, after we see. But it's not so bad. You have a good generation in uh, two years old? I have only two two-year-olds. Okay. It's this one, and I have one <coughs> for the moment in the country. Uh, that's it's actually a little bit better than this one. One offshore dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? <laughs> yeah. But we will see this one next year. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Not so bad. <laughs>